time on Custom Works, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking at the door cards off the taxi and the 1974 Rolls Royce seats. I'm going to be seeing how we can take all of that junk and make it look cool. Okay, so this is the uh, door card of the taxi. So as you can see, it's uh, like just a nasty piece of plastic. Um, but what we're going to do is try and give it like a um, like an upholstered, quilted look, like a diamond pleat. So what I've done, I've marked out with the uh, just with a marker. Um, I made a little jig. I made this from a piece of wood. It just goes on there. Make sure everything's nice and this lines up with the edge. I've marked it out, and now what I'm going to do, using one of these, uh, like a flat disc, but the flat goes all the way round, I'm going to use one of those, and I'm going to cut this diamond pleat design into the uh, plastic. Ran in here with the angle grinder, but there's like these like rubbly little bits, you know, like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to whip over this quickly with the DA. Okay, that's it. So I've wiped it down with the thinners, and uh, it's all nice and super clean now. So now to go on some primer. Okay, so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use this uh, etch primer. It doesn't etch plastic or anything, but um, the plastic's, you know, it's really clean. It's got a bit nice bit of key to it. So what I'm going to do is just lightly dust over. Okay then, so I've left that for like, what, 10 seconds, and uh, that's, that's dry enough, you know. But I've done, I've dusted over it. Um, if it's just dusty like this, it does seem, it makes a better key for the next paint. If you put it on so it's wet, it sort of forms a film that can peel off. Whereas if it's all sort of speckly like this, it does seem to work better. Okay, so what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this on the whole interior, is I'm gonna use this, um, 94 graffiti paint. Uh, it's an acrylic based paint and with this you can paint all of your interior panels, you can paint leather seats, you can paint like vinyl seats, you can paint everything. Um, it wears pretty well, it's really cheap, it's about £4 a can. Um, now what I will do with this is, once I've painted this, I will go over this with a, <clears throat> with a matte 2K. It just makes it look a bit better. But on seats, there's no need to go over it. Drives with a real matte, realistic sort of leathery finish, and it's really cheap. You buy leather paint or something like that, it's just acrylic paint in a can, but this is so much cheaper, and you can get it, and I mean literally in every colour you could ever imagine. So, here we go, let's paint the door panel. go light brown, like a mid brown and a dark brown. It's got a real quilted effect. Um, really it's just, um, as you're putting it on, it's just down to your own artistic talent to get it right. There's no real, there's no right or wrong way. But you've always got the other colours that you can go back and touch things in and make it look right. So now on with the uh, darker brown. I'm going to try and think, you know, where I want shadows in it. So uh, just to make it look right. So here we go. I've gone round like the edges first, and that, by having a slightly darker edge and lighter in the middle, it makes this look a little bit more ploofy, you know, like padded out. And then what I'm doing 
<coughs> I'm going down the actual um, sort of creases. And what I'm trying to do is get a stripe of the darker and leave a little patch of the lighter in between. That's what I'm trying to do. So yeah, we've got this and already we're getting that sort of three dimensional look. You can sort of see, certainly here, it's a bit better. Now I'm going on with the super dark brown, which it says it's super dark brown, but literally I think it's black. So I'm gonna go over with that and uh, we'll see what we've got then. See the black gives it a little bit more. Um, I've gone a little bit heavy down there, so um, what I do coming back in with the uh, lighter colour um, and just take a little bit of that out. And then I can just add a little bit less black back in. Um, with these cans, you know, this is meant for graffiti, so it's very low pressure, so um, doing this sort of like fine line and getting it like that, it's a lot easier than it would be, you know, say with like normal aerosol from the uh, car accessory shop. Um, so now what I'm going to do, <coughs> this panel is going to be black, I'm going to do the armrest black. I'm not going to mask it or anything, I'm just going to paint it in just by hand. Okay, what I'm just going to do is just go around the edge here, and there's a few bits, you know, where I've gone like, and over shot where the pleats are meant to be. I'm just going to go over that just to make it look a bit better. Next up, um, what I'm going to do is give this, well, I don't know, 10 minutes to dry. Stuff dries so quick it's acrylic. And then I'm going to 2K mat it, but in the meantime, here's one I prepared earlier. Okay, so not the whole interior is done, but definitely the door panel is. So, here we go. There's the door panel, what was just a boring grey plastic door panel. Now looks sort of uh, diamond pleat and hot rod, so pretty cool. Okay then, so that's the door cards done. Uh, they look so much better than that, like grey plastic rubbish that's in taxes. You know, and if you're not gonna make a whole new door card, might as well just dress it up. Let's take a look at those Rolls Royce seats. Okay, and so with what we're gonna be doing here, we've got these old Rolls Royce seats, and as you can see, uh, they've been painted at some times. I've been practicing on them, and they look a little bit disheveled. So we're gonna paint them a lot like we did the door card. So once again, using 94 graffiti paint, which is a solvent-based acrylic. That'll stick to this nicely, and it's nice and flexible, so it'll never crack or come off. Uh, what I've done with this, as far as preparation goes, it doesn't look very clean, but it is very clean. I've wiped it down with a soft cloth with some thinners on, and uh, that's it. We're all ready to go. So, here we go. First coat with the uh, night for the feet paint. I've gone with like a light brown, and I've got some darker brown, so I did on the door cards. What I'm going to do, I'm going to dust it over, just give it more of a sort of a mottled effect, and uh, you know, maybe like a bit of sort of wear and tear to it. I'm also using a slightly finer nozzle in the, um, in the can. I've 
painted the base, I've done a light base with the graffiti paint and then I've built it up with uh, two different shades of brown to give this sort of, you know, this sort of distressed old leather look. Um, what I'm going to do now is in here I've got a um, small amount of 2K black primer um, and what I've done with the gun is there's barely any paint coming out it's on the narrowest of jets and very low pressure and all I'm going to do I'm just going to go in on all the low spots I'm going to go in on all the lows And just, um, and just darken it all into the creases, just to give it a bit more of that 3D effect and sort of age warmness, as if, you know, the black's like where the dirt's got in the cracks over the years. So, here we go. I've got the Rolls Royce seats in there, they're all painted, they look pretty cool, and the door panels. We need some carpet for the floor. Now, first off, I just stuck down some old carpet tiles that I had laying around, just for a bit of soundproofing. But then, so it all looks nice, I've gone over those with, um, with this like 3D stretch carpet, which, um, you know, people line out the backs of vans and stuff. It's pretty sort of thin and, you know. But that will go over the floor nicely. And also, um, it's not like that's going to be the carpet. That is the carpet for the main bit, but it will still have some mats down in it. So your feet are mainly on the mats, so this just makes everything look tidy. Let's have a look inside the car. So here we are. A lot of hot rods, you know, people don't bother with carpet and stuff, but um, in this, you know, made it look a little bit nicer. So here we go. Um, as you can see, it's all nice. Underneath the dash, I've painted in matte black under the footwell. Um, and it just looks clean and tidy. Stick this glue down. Uh, I got this trim fix adhesive, and on eBay you normally get like a whole bundle of this carpet and a load of this stuff, and uh, you know it sticks it down really well. Now there is one thing though with this adhesive. Sometimes, as you can see here, um, you get some adhesive on the carpet, and uh, obviously this doesn't look good. My top advice for this is get some, you know, just some matte black um, spray paint and then just dust over that. And it just totally gets rid of that, you know, that sort of gluey bit and makes everything look nice. This also works if, um, if you've got like a, you know, a coloured carpet, a beige or something. The graffiti paint, the 94 graffiti paint that I used, you can use that to sort of recolour the carpet. Also this is good, if you're ever selling a car and say like the boot carpet or the floor carpet is a little bit worn, you can just, you know, hoover it out as good as you can. Go over it with a dusting of the satin, or of the matte black, and uh, it looks literally like the day it came out of the showroom. And uh, of course you can also use the graffiti paint for different colours, because you can almost match that exactly to the shade. It's just a way of always making the carpet look tip top. Okay, so that's it for this week. Next week, we're going to be looking at the truck. We're we'll moving into the final stages and we're going to actually be painting the truck. I literally can't wait. So, if you like what you see, uh, give us a thumbs up. Leave comments in the section down below. Press the bell icon for regular updates and don't forget to subscribe. From now until next week, get in the garage and build something. Laters.